welcome and congratulations. If you're watching this video, that means that you were selected in the lottery for the 22-23 school year here at Howard Middle School Academy of Arts. I'm the principal, Kimberly Beckler, and I'm here with a brief video that will walk you through all of the steps that you need to know before securing your spot at Howard for the 22-23 school year. Now, please note that the most important date to remember is March 11th. All of these steps must be completed by March 11th or you will lose your spot because those spots will then be opened up to the next round. So make sure you get everything done by then. If you have any questions along the way, please reach out. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming, but we are here to help. So before you begin the steps, I want to make sure everybody knows two things. Number one, Howard Middle School Academy of Arts is a magnet school for the visual and performing arts. And that might seem obvious, but I just want to make sure everybody knows that what makes us different than other schools in Orange County is that all of our students are required to take at least two to three arts classes. So if you have a student that is into the arts, that wants to take classes in theater, dance, visual art, digital art, music, then you've come to the right place. If not, this might not be the best place for you because our elective options in other areas are very limited. But for kids that are into the arts, Howard Middle School is the best place to be. The second thing I want you to know is that we do not offer transportation. So all of our students arrive by car, or bike or, um, or our walkers. We have a lot of students that carpool, but we do not offer buses. So transportation is something that you're going to want to figure out before uh, committing to our school. Once you have looked at all the information and have decided that Howard is the place for you, then you're ready to take the next step. The next step, step two, is your magnet contract. So the link to that is included in this email. And we would ask that parent, guardian, uh, and the student look at that magnet contract together. Make sure that you are prepared to abide by all of the terms of the agreement. Sign the contract and submit it. That's step two. Step three is the very fun part. Step three is filling out your digital course selection form. And this is what makes middle school a lot different than elementary school because in elementary school you pretty much just take the classes that you're given. In middle school you get choices and at Howard we have a lot of choices. So to help you with that process, uh, please check out our course catalog. The course catalog, which is located on our website and also linked in your email, will offer descriptions of all of the different classes offered here at Howard. You'll use that along with your digital course selection form to help tell us everything that we need to know to make the very best schedule for you. So all of our students will take four core classes, Advanced Language Arts, Advanced Social Studies. You will have some choices in your math class in terms of levels and some choices in science. And then you will rank your electives, everybody takes three electives, and you'll rank those in order from one to eight, one being the one you want to take the very most. So when you get to that step, be sure to look at the course catalog and also check out the video Dr. Walker, our assistant principal, has made for you that will give you even more information about how to fill out that course request form. And if you have any questions, again, please reach out. We're here to help. All right, oh, as a side note about that, if you are a dancer, are dancers who have taken studio dance before and you don't believe you are, um, a beginner dancer, if you want a more advanced dance class, please reach out to our dance teachers. There's a link in the email by March 4th and let them know that you are interested in an audition. Those auditions will take place on March 11th. So if you fill out that form, the teachers will get back to you and help you schedule an audition. So that's another important deadline. All right, after you've done your course requests, we're at step four. Step four is only for current OCPS students, uh, and that step is withdrawing from your current school. So that's step four. Step five is the actual registration, and that is when you have to gather all the documentation that's listed in your email, and you can submit that all virtually. No need to come in at all. So we're hoping that that will help expedite the process for you and make it very smooth. This whole process can be done virtually. If you have questions, you can reach out to Howard underscore MS at OCPS.net. And just please know that we are here for you every step of the way. I know the transition from elementary to middle school can be a very big one and can be overwhelming. 
but we're here to help, uh, and we're just so excited to have you with us. So uh, let us know if you have any questions, and we can't wait to see you soon.